I'm about to check out this video that you guys sent to me. The name of it is a woke restaurant owner kicks out black conservative. So he goes on Fox and gets revenge. Let's see what he got to say, man. That sounds crazy. They kicked him out just because he's conservative. What happened? Well, for, well, I, I got to tell you, Maria, I never thought I would make international news for being the Florida man kicked out of a restaurant <laughs> over my conservative <laughs> values. But that's exactly what what happened but uh what, what happened That's is crazy. some friends of mine some people that i'm just getting to know that live in my building invited me off to this this uh, uh paradise books and breads never been there never heard of it i go in they're immediately asking me questions how do you like working over at fox news are you a conservative and we talked about my brother why did they randomly come in and ask them that Ain't you there to like to eat some food and just have a good time? <laughs> He's like, oh, oh, you work for Fox. He, wow. Uh, how he was murdered in Chicago last year in June uh, last month or yesterday made seven months since he's been murdered. That's unfortunate. And a number of other issues like uh, my pro-life stand about progressive DAs who are exacerbating the crime. Why is that being discussed as you trying to get a meal, though, is what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> you trying to eat right. They actually trying to get what your, your political ideology is like, what? I would have stopped talking about it. I'm like, yo, listen, I came here to enjoy my meal. I didn't come here to, to I don't know, receive a lecture of sorts. I'm issue. And the owner comes over to the table and says, I've been listening to your conversation. You are not welcome here. And I said, oh, wow. Did I say something that triggered you? She said, no. Okay. All right. So those were his friends asking him all these questions and they were having that discussion on his own volition. All right, cool. But then the owner overheard what he was saying. Me personally, I wouldn't even try to have those kind of conversations while I'm eating my food, but that's yeah, each his own. You know, we, we could debate another time. <laughs> I mean, let me enjoy this meal and then let's talk about something fun. Um, but so the owner overheard him and was like, yeah, don't like your political views. Get out. That's crazy. Especially if they're like a paying customer. I don't understand what's the problem. Oh, we are not politically aligned. I don't feel comfortable. Wow. You have to leave. I own this place. Wow. So I stood up, walked off from the table, shell shocked, completely right. shell shocked because I've never had that experience before. And I went online and, and tweeted immediately after and it got 2.5 million views and went viral. So I am disturbed See? what I'm seeing from folks. And I think this is a microcosm of what we're seeing across the country. Well, it that is. is crazy. Like, you don't vote for who I vote for. You can't eat in my business. You can't pay me for my service. Like, that's wild, bro. Man, if I own the restaurant, I don't care. I don't care if you came in there with blue hair and you was trans. I, I wouldn't care. Okay, thank you for your money. All right, your meal will be right. Make sure you serve them right. Give them good customer service too because they're a paying customer, bro. Especially in the restaurant business. You know how many like, restaurants fail like yearly? Um, so the fact that they were doing that is, is really, really intense, bro. That was a bold move. Uh, folks, how, how many people were some. you in the group? I mean, were you talking loudly? I mean, it, it was a total, of, it was a total, it was a, it was a total of five of us, including a woman. So, um, mm. you know, they made things like, oh yeah, we didn't like what, what they said about women and something about, uh, uh, but there were women uh, in the group. eugenics or something like that. And I'm telling them I'm pro-life. Like, what is it <laughs> that made you feel uncomfortable? I imagine it did because for some on the left, intolerance has become the norm, not the exception. Exactly. Exactly. Like, oh, we can't handle it. We can't handle you having your own opinion and having a conversation amongst your friends. I'm eavesdropping on your conversation. I'm just like, oh, uh, nah, we got an 86 that. We got to shut this conversation down. We can't be having conversations like this in my establishment. <laughs> Okay, lucky for you. I mess around with a lot of anti-establishment people <laughs> in the streets. Um, so yeah, but no, nah, I'm not rocking with it. I think that's crazy. That's disgusting, bro. Like, let that man enjoy his meal. So they want you to capitulate customer. to all of their views, no matter what it is. But if you say, I believe in God, and I talked about my faith in God while I was there as well. If you say that I'm pro-life, then it's a problem. There's a target on your back. And let That's alone, crazy. don't let you be black and saying these things. You That's crazy. Go. I'm praising Jesus everywhere. <laughs> Here, have that. Have that. Man. I'm praising the Lord everywhere. Ain't nothing nobody going to be able to do about it. That's just what it is, bro. That's, I don't care. I don't care. So you're going to tell me you're going to kick me out your restaurant because I'm praising Jesus. 
That's wild, bro. That's wild. What kind of world we live in now, bro? Go. And and would you say that what you experienced was was outright bigotry in this case? I, I think it was. I, I just find it hard to imagine that if I if I was white and I was saying these things, that they would be so alarmed and put me out. Mm. Um, I, I just can't imagine that. As soon as I started talking about conservatism, the lady who apparently was the owner, because I'm always looking around in my surroundings. I'm always watching my surroundings because I work for Fox and, you know, I'm a well-known person. So I'm always watching in case somebody may scene. be recording me or some That's facts. You got to be peeping the scene, bro. You got to peep the scene. They definitely try to set you up and make it seem like you did something wrong for sure. Somebody might be on an attack and yeah. she continue to give me very nasty looks from the moment that I mentioned conservatism. Wow. wow. That's not okay. That is not yeah, okay. That's not so that was my buddy Gianno Caldwell who went viral because he was literally kicked out of a bookstore and a cafe in Miami literally because he is a uh, conservative. Which is crazy, bro. That's mad wow. Like, yeah, conservatives can't eat here. <laughs> Whoa. Political analyst, because this is somebody that has conservative beliefs. Now, if you guys watch me on social media, you know that I called out mm -hmm. Lyft a couple of weeks ago um, for discriminating against my group of conservatives as we were going on a ride to. Wow. Uh, and this is what happens with a lot of companies and with a lot of corporations. And what I love about the stand that Gianna was taking on. That's crazy. Y'all saying in the chat, if the guy was white, would the owner confront him? I don't know. I don't, know, I don't think he should be confronted at all. Black, white, none of that stuff, man. Whatever his political ideology is, don't matter when it comes to him just trying to enjoy his meal. I think that's what he goes too far. Like, my man can't enjoy a, a good meal, bro. Like, is the food crappy, dude? <laughs> He's like, let me distract him before he notices the service for some weird reason. They can always taste the lack of flavor in the rice that we make. Like, what is it, fam? Like, man, just... You know, just just let them in eat, bro. Like, just let them eat. Let them in. Go home. And I do believe that this is true, that in the next 10, 15, 20 he said years, it was vegan. the fight is really going to be against corporations, um, against businesses, whether local or national, in mm. fighting the ways in which they discriminate against people based on political orientation and political affiliation. I believe what it. happened to Gianno was crazy. Gianno is not a bad guy. Gianno is not divisive. Gianno is not even controversial. What he mm. is, is a black man that has conservative beliefs. And they was like, we can't have that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. That, that's not allowed, sir. Yeah, you thought you was going to be able to think for yourself. You thought you thought you was going to be able to thought you was going to be able to think. Like, why are you I just wanted some cheddar broccoli soup. I didn't know I was going to have to get into. I didn't know I was going to have to be boxing out here. Now I got to gotta let off my 52 blocks up in this piece. And it is outrageous. People like, what's that? That a bookstore in Miami, of all places, in Florida, a deep red state, a state that went 20 points for DeSantis um, in the gubernatorial race, is going to discriminate against him based on his beliefs. Crazy, bro. Crazy. Yeah, it's disgusting out here in these streets, bro. I feel like that was wild that you could be targeted because you're a conservative. I don't know about the whole if he was white thing, if they would approach him or not. I don't know. Um, as crazy as the world is, maybe, maybe they would approach him faster. Who knows, man? I just know it's wrong. I know it's wrong as hell, but hit the like button, drop some comments as well, man. Subscribe if you haven't. And if you're extra nasty, check me out on Patreon or join my channel memberships.